The roadside miracle. Did you see this harrowing photo everywhere today? The desperate woman on the side of the expressway performing CPR and breathing life back into her five-month-old nephew. ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, now takes us behind those pictures to show us what to do when every second counts. Pamela Rousio panicked. Driving in a traffic jam on a Miami highway, she had glanced over at her five-month-old nephew, Sebastian. He was blue, not breathing. It really was the scariest moment of my life. She pulled to the side, tried to dial 911, then jumped out on the highway. I had the baby in my arms and he was completely limp. And I kept screaming for help um, and pointing to the baby. Traffic stopped. People poured out of their cars to help, but Pamela wasn't waiting. Acting on instinct, she started CPR. She had taken a CPR course seven years ago. Within moments, she got baby Sebastian to breathe again. But would you know what to do? Most babies like Sebastian aren't having a heart attack. They're having a breathing problem. If you cover their nose and mouth with your own and puff some air in like this, they often start breathing on their own. If not, press on the middle of the chest with just two of your fingers, stopping every 30 seconds to breathe. The bottom line for babies, the most important thing, blow air into their mouths. It's likely to revive them. For adults, it's different since most likely it's their heart that's having the problem. So push hard and fast on their chest and keep it up. And here's a trick. Push to the rhythm of staying alive. Stay in the night, stay in the night. To keep them alive. As for baby Sebastian, the rescue squad took him to the hospital. I honestly, I, I don't know how I remembered what to do. I just knew I couldn't let him die. I, I couldn't let him die. My sister trusted me with his life. Today, Sebastian is awake, pink, and being monitored in the hospital. The baby is still under very close medical observation, but we anticipate he's, he's going to be doing much better. Recuperating and lucky to have an aunt who had taken a CPR class. So much admiration for her yeah. tonight, Rich. So tell me again, remind me again, how strongly do you breathe into the baby's nose and mouth and how strongly do you push? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really important. When you're doing those breaths, you want to, out of the corner of your eye, look at the chest. And if the chest is moving up, you're doing it right. You may have to position the head slightly to make sure that the air is going in. And then when you're pushing on the chest, you want to go down a good inch and a half. It's more than most people think with two fingers. Two fingers. That's right. Baby. That'll give the pressure on the heart, get the blood flowing, and, and will resuscitate the baby. All right, and it is life-saving to know how to do this. Thank you so much.